Okay, the next step in uh, Charm Config is the define copy control. So when you copy uh, one transaction into another transaction, we need to define the copy control. Uh, here again, if you hover over start transaction, you can see it's going to call T code SM30 with a specific view. Uh, I'm wary of the SAP GUI for HTML, so what I like to do is just go ahead and run that uh, directly in SAP GUI. So I have a system, uh, I have the system here. Um, and I've run SM30 in the view that we're working over is CRMV PR copy MA. Uh, so if we go ahead and hit the display button, uh, we page down what we're looking for is any uh, SAP transaction type that we copied. Uh, so all of them started with SM. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for anything with SM and we start to see some SM CRs here. Uh, and you can see here that you have a source type and a target type. So when you copy uh, or create one from another, um, what is the copy routine that's going to be used? What's the what's the source? What's the target? Uh, and so we need to make sure these rules exist for for our transaction type in the Z namespace. So you can see here we have SMCR through SM uh, D SMCT. So what I want to do is go ahead and uh, uh, open up an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I've got one here, but I'll go ahead and. Uh, delete it, clean it out, make it look exactly like I would. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the control Y uh, and copy out all of these objects just to validate what I'm, so I know that um, I'm validating that there's a rule, every one of SAP's rules, I have a rule to match uh, for my Z type. So here I'm continuing to page down, <clears throat> looking for any SM types that are uh, related to my copies uh, that I did before. And, and remember before we did uh, request for change, urgent change, normal change, admin change, general change, defect. Uh, and so I'm not seeing any thing else here. So I'm going to go ahead and page down and I can see that SAP's copy the utility did copy the rules, but it didn't copy things into the uh, Z namespace. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that control Y again. Uh, control C and go back to my Excel spreadsheet and paste it in there. Just so we can see everything. So we can see that there is outgoing email, there's a problem, a knowledge article, that's fine. Uh, SDAD administration, job change, I'm gonna leave that, but look at here, urgent. Um, you know, I don't need that one because I'm not going to I'm not going to use that that old SAP change type. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a little action reminder for me. So I'm going to say uh, delete. Uh, I'm going to say delete because I don't need that rule. Uh, I do need this rule, so uh, I'm going to call it ZMAD just so I can remind myself. Uh, ZMCG. I'm going to take it to uh, ZMCR. Uh, copying uh, one request for a change for another ZMHF, uh, ZMJ. I already got that there, so it looks like this rule is a, a duplicate, so we can uh, delete this. Um, and then I have ZMHF to SMHF, which I don't need, so I'll go ahead and delete this one. Um, um, and so up top I can leave these right up here right I don't I can leave these I'm not going to modify them so I'll go back to here uh, I'm leaving all those up top uh, SDAD I'm going to leave that SDCD I'm going to leave that uh, but SDHF SDM uh, these two I'm going to delete I'm going to delete this ZMCR ZMS, uh, SMCR uh, because it's already down below it's duplicate uh, I'm going to delete this one as well this uh, back here. So uh, again, what we're doing is we're, oops, uh, what we're doing is we're just fixing the copy control rules so it matches uh, uh, the SAP rules. Uh, and so I'm just making some changes. So I'll go back and uh, do this again. So uh, urgent change, validated change, uh, this going to the base SAP type, uh, and this one as well. Uh, going to go ahead and hit uh, the delete button. Get rid of them all together. Uh, I need to add some new entries. So you can see here, you know, SMADs, SMCG, SMHFs, those are all going to go away. I just kind of left them out there for me to, re for, to remind me. Uh, so I'll go ahead and copy, delete those now. Uh, I hit the new entries button. So again, the uh, ZMCR, ZMAD. AI 
C001. Hit enter. Save. Okay. So that's there. Hit new entries. Go to my next one. ZMCR, ZMCG. Copy routine. All right, so you can see I, they're starting to be added. Uh, that one I deleted. ZMCR to ZMHF. No, not there yet. You would also do this um, for any other types you feel if you feel like you're going to be copying other types from a normal to an urgent. You would you would create a copy control uh, for creating a normal creating an urgent from a, from a normal uh, as well if you want to do that later down the line. All right, so I'm just validating. Got my admin, got my general, got my request for change, got my urgent. I'm missing normal, uh, which was the next one on my list. Save and back. I'm good. Now I've got my uh, normal change down there. Uh, ZMCR, ZMCR. Uh, it's not there. <coughs> so go ahead and hit new entry. All right, it already exists. I guess I missed it. Oh, there it is. That's right. So I got my admin, my general, request, urgent, normal. Um, so that's perfect. I've copied everything that SAP had had. So they had the urgent. I'm sorry, the uh, admin, the general, the urgent, the normal, the request for change. Uh, so that looks good. I also have my urgent to urgent. Uh, it's copying two urgents together. Uh, that was an option there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save button. And I've already saved it my transport. I'm good to go now. So I've, I've finished uh, define copy control. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set that task to performed. Uh, the next video will cover specifying mapping rules.